have been dreaming about the continuation of life on Mars for a long time. From living on this planet and establishing a human society to cultivating plants and agriculture, we are contemplating building the future of Mars. However, recent research by scientists indicates that in the past, Mars actually had life and existence, but it has been destroyed. In this video, we will see where the Perseverance rover is and exactly what mission it is tasked with. And are there any signs of life on Mars or not? Please stay with us till the end. As you may know, Mars is the fourth planet in the solar system. And so far, humans have not succeeded in landing on Mars. However, numerous robots and rovers have landed there. Many believe that NASA's Viking spacecraft was the first rover to land on Mars. However, it was actually a Soviet spacecraft that first landed on Mars with a mission called Mars 3. At that time, we knew very little about Mars, and in our perception, Mars was a cold and dry desert without life. However, due to the similarities between Earth and Mars, scientists began to wonder whether Mars has always been dry and lifeless, or if Earth and Mars share a common history, suggesting that Mars might have once been full of life and vegetation. In 2022, the Perseverance rover made a discovery on Mars that could provide a comprehensive explanation. But first, let's know more about this rover. Scientists say that if there was ever life on Mars, evidence of it would likely be found through exploration. Whether Mars had life or not, if it existed, evidence would probably be found beneath the Martian soil, as it protects from solar radiation. Therefore, rocks and what lies beneath them need to be examined. Firstly, let's put your mind at ease and state that currently there is no sign of any life on Mars. Whatever might have existed is believed to be in the past. So, the mission of the Perseverance rover is to explore and analyze rocks and the materials that make up the surface, focusing on microbial life. The Perseverance rover landed on Mars in February 2021, touching down in Jezero Crater. After a gentle landing, it moved westward, where scientists hope life might have existed. The chosen location is the delta of a dried up river which has been in existence for more than 3.2 billion years. The Jezero Crater's delta was once a large lake, and there is a possibility that life existed there. Scientists propose that the sediments within this delta may have preserved remnants of microbes. It is interesting to note that on Earth, bacteria and lake sediments often act as memory banks, preserving the past of our planet. Scientists believe that the Jezero Crater has the highest scientific value in NASA's missions, offering the greatest chance of finding signs of past life on Mars. Therefore, the Perseverance rover was directed to explore this delta. However, the surface landing was not without challenges, as the rover landed slightly off the planet location, causing NASA to adjust its plans. It took nearly a year to reach the desired and planned location. It's important to note that the Perseverance rover is equipped with a crucial and efficient tool for precise rock analysis called Sherlock. As the rover approaches the delta, it examines organic molecules and is now engaged in drilling and analyzing rocks. Since July 2021, the rover has been drilling and collecting core samples from various sedimentary rocks, totaling 18 samples. During the investigation of these rocks, scientists observed rounded grains of dark-colored material. 
This dark material might have been deposited by an ancient river on these rocks. In any case, this delta is the best place for researchers to explore, as it may have brought various materials from the Martian surface. In April 2022, the Perseverance rover reached the delta and made remarkable discoveries that astonished scientists. It successfully found the cores of two new rocks containing a significant amount of organic material. These cores were distinct from the others, having a lighter color, and it appears that a type of fine-grained soil had formed them. It's worth noting that finer-grained materials suggest transportation by a river to the site, and wherever there is a river, undoubtedly, there has been life. As we mentioned, the Perseverance rover has filled 18 of its 38 titanium sample tubes so far. NASA plans to send another rover to the Jezero crater by 2027 to return the samples collected by the Perseverance rover to Earth. After the samples from Perseverance reach Earth, they will be examined by scientists in state-of-the-art laboratories worldwide. Many of these scientists will be looking for signs of ancient Martian life because Jezero Crater was once a habitable environment, hosting a large lake and river delta billions of years ago. This six-wheeled robot is currently searching for signs of life in the Jezero Crater, but such a complex task. Mission team members state that confirming life on Mars may exceed the capabilities of a single robot with a limited scientific payload. This is why delivering the samples to Earth is a top priority for NASA and astrobiologists worldwide. Perseverance is currently surveying a lengthy mission. Its primary mission, equivalent to one Martian year, has lasted about 687 Earth days. The Ingenuity helicopter has completed 43 flights on the Red Planet, covering a total distance of nearly 8.9 kilometers. Perseverance has outpaced its aerial companion. Since landing on Mars, the rover has recorded a distance 14.57 kilometers on its odometer. Perseverance and Ingenuity are not the only NASA robots exploring the surface of Mars. The Curiosity rover, roughly the same size as Perseverance, has been investigating a crater named Gale, spanning approximately 154 kilometers since August 2012. Curiosity detected early on that Gale Crater likely hosted a lake and stream system for an extended period in Mars's ancient past, potentially suitable for habitability. Since September 2014, Curiosity has ascended Mount Sharp, which rises 5.5 kilometers from the center of Gale Crater towards the Martian sky. Curiosity is focused on examining rock layers, seeking clues about environmental changes on Mars over time. As you can see, the quest for life on Mars hasn't revealed an Earth-like existence yet. Discovering a few organic molecules doesn't quite satisfy our curiosity about past Martian life. Nevertheless, these rover findings spark intriguing debates, captivating the minds of scientists. Thank you for being with us until the end of the video. Please share your thoughts on the possibility of life on Mars.